Hi, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. My name is Jack. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to install Google Analytics 4 and report back all of the e-commerce events from your Shopify store directly into GA4 using Google Tag Manager. This tutorial is going to include how to set up the data layer events so that all of the information about what is being purchased is being pushed through directly into GA4 for you to leverage that data. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is head over to Google Tag Manager and set up an account with them if you don't already have a Google Tag Manager account, or if you do, just log in and access your account. Now, I already have one set up here, so I've got a browser container. And the first thing we need to do is we need to install this on the Shopify store. So you're gonna wanna go over to your admin section, and then from there, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your install Google Tag Manager settings and copy the head code from there. And you're going to want to go over to your Shopify store. From there, you're going to want to go onto online store and you're going to make sure you've got theme selected. And then you're going to click the three dots and you're going to click edit code. Then you're going to look for the theme.liquid file. And what you want to do is you want to paste this code directly under the head tag. So where it says head, you're just going to place a couple of line breaks and then you're just going to paste in the Google Tag Manager code. Now there's one more piece of code we need to put above that as well in the head section, and I'll put this in the description of the video. And this will help us push the data through to the data layer. So once you've copied and pasted both of those scripts, you're gonna click save. And then from there, you're gonna click exit in the top left corner. And that's gonna take you back to your Shopify home section. If you're using Shopify Plus, you also want to install the Google Tag Manager code on the checkout.liquid file. As I'm using the standard Shopify platform, I'm not able to do that. And if you don't have Shopify Plus, you also will not be able to do that. So what we need to do is we need to install the Google Tag Manager code in a couple of other places. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on settings in the bottom left corner, and then you wanna go down to checkout. And from there, you wanna scroll down until you can see where you can enter additional scripts, okay? And you wanna, again, paste both of those scripts into that section of the page, okay? So just, you can go back, grab your Tag Manager script, paste it in, and click Save. From there, you can click the X in the top right corner. That's gonna take you back to Shopify. So the next thing we need to do is set up a data stream in Google Analytics 4. This will connect your site to Google Analytics 4. Obviously, we're using Tag Manager to implement the script, but we're then connecting that up as a data stream in GA4. So what you want to do here is you want to click on admin in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. From there, what you want to do is you want to click on data streams. You're going to choose web and then you're going to enter your store URL. So I'm just going to put in the store that I've got, the demonstration site that I built. I'm just going to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this one UKB Marketing Store and click create stream. From there, it might prompt you to install the tag. What you want to do is you just want to click the X in the top left corner of that for now. Because we don't have Shopify Plus, we need to also exclude the checkout pages as referrals in GA4. So to do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click over onto Google Analytics. You're gonna click on Configure Tag Settings. You're then gonna click on Show All, and you're gonna click on List Unwanted Referrals. And from there, you're gonna paste uh, myshopify.com as one of the domains. And you also want to add your own store custom domain into this section as well. So for me, it's ukbmarketing.com. I'm just gonna click save, and then you can click the X in the left-hand corner. So now the next step is gonna to be to install the Google sales channel directly on Shopify so that we can start pushing some of these e-commerce events directly onto the data layer, which we can then pick up a GA4, and that is going to report the different e-commerce events in GA4 itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on apps, and you're just gonna search up Google channel just click on it and you click add app. You can then click add sales channel in the top right hand corner. Once you've done that, you need to click connect to Google account and you need to connect it with the Google account that you're using for your Google advertisements, for any of your Google analytics, Google tag manager properties. Once you've done that, there's a few steps that you need to complete. Some of these are gonna just be things like making sure that your store is set up correctly with different terms and conditions and policies in order for it to be eligible for the Google sales channel. So I'd recommend just going through the basic requirements, and making sure everything is set up. Once you've done that, you can connect it with a Merchant Center account. So you can either select from the list that's linked to your Google account that you signed in with, or you can just click create new, which is what I'm doing here. So that I've created a new Google Merchant Center account specifically for this store. 
Now, Merchant Center enables you to feed your products into Google. This is good for free listings. It's also how you can connect it up for different Google advertisement placements so that it can pull in product catalogs into Google Ads. Now, regardless of whether or not you're using Google Ads, this is still just something that you wanna connect up in terms of the completeness of setting up the Google channel. It's also gonna ask you to verify yourself. So you're gonna to wanna to put in your phone number here as well, and then you're gonna click get code, and that is going to send a code to your phone number where you can then enter that directly in here. And that is just going to, again, validate your identity and make sure that everything is set up correctly. So enter the code, click verify, and that is gonna load through. Now you can also enter the target country and language for your product. So I'm in the United Kingdom, so I'm just gonna select that. And I'm gonna select yes to the terms and conditions and say that I accept them. From here, there's one more step. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on the Performance Max campaign setup, and that is gonna basically load in the option for us to connect our Google Ad account, okay? So we just need to connect the Google Ad account so that we can start pushing the data through onto the data layer. So again, you can choose one of your existing accounts or you can set one up. You don't have to add payment details. You don't have to run any Google advertisements off the back of this. It's just to connect the account in order to push the right data through to the data layer. So once that's done, just click out of that and you can see in settings that we have a Google Merchant Center account and we've got a Google Ads account as well connected. So the next step is gonna to be to preview this in Google Tag Manager to make sure that the events are being pushed through directly and we're able to see that information in the data layer. So you wanna click preview in the top right corner. You're gonna enter your store URL and click connect. That is gonna open it up. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on this test product that I have. I can then click add to cart. And by adding it to cart, that's gonna trigger an event. So if I go back to tag a system, you can see on the left-hand side here, we have different events. So we've got the view underscore item event. We've also got the add underscore to cart event. So you can see in the data layer here, we have the different products. So you've got test product one, you've got the price of zero because it's a free product. You can see in the add to cart event on the left-hand side there. Again, we've got test product one. So it's pushing this data through to the data layer, which is exactly what we want. And that shows that it's working correctly. So the next thing we need to do is we need to head back to Tag Manager so that we can set up the tags to push this information through into GA4. So you're gonna to wanna to click on Tags in the left-hand menu. And then from there, what you're gonna to want to do is click New over on the right. You can give this a name, so I'm gonna call this one GA4 Page View. This is gonna fire on all of the pages. So you're gonna click Google Analytics 4 consideration, um, Configuration. Sorry. You're then gonna go back to your GA4 and you're gonna click on your data stream and you're gonna click on your measurement ID on the right hand side. And you're just gonna paste that measurement ID directly into the box where it asks for that. Under triggering, just select all pages and click save. From there, we're gonna add another tag as well. So what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to click on the new button at the top right. Give this one a name, we're gonna call this one GA4 Ecom. You could call it GA4 e-commerce event, it doesn't matter. You're gonna then click on GA4 event you're going to select the GA4 page view as a configuration tag, and then you're going to click on event in terms of the event name from the variables. Under more settings, you're going to also tick send e-commerce data and just leave data layer selected. Under triggering, you're going to click on triggering and then you're going to click the plus in the top right corner. Click on the trigger configuration and you're going to scroll down and click custom event from the right hand side menu. Now you're going to paste in this expression of different events that GA4 can configure and I'm going to drop that in the description of the video as well so you can just copy that string and put it directly into the event name and then you need to tick this use rejects matching otherwise it's not going to work correctly and then you're going to put GA4 event as the name or just anything that you want to in terms of that and name it doesn't really matter click save click save again so now we have both the overall page view event firing and we also have the different events that get triggered by that Google Ad Sales channel platform inside Shopify being now picked up and being able to be picked up by the Google Tag Manager and that's now gonna get pushed through directly with the event name using the correct events into GA4. So the next step is we need to preview this again. So click on preview inside Google Tag Manager and again, visit your store, so click connect. It's gonna load it up. Now I'm actually gonna put through a test purchase. So you can use a discount code if you have a, a paid product or I just have a free product here. So I'm just gonna add it to cart again. Um, I'm going to click check out. I'm just going to go through and complete the details there. Okay, so I'm just going to enter some of my details. And again, if you have a paid product that you want to test, just create a discount code or put it through the real payment. I'm going to click complete order. I'm now going to go back to Google Tag Manager. And you can see on the, um, you can see that we've got the GA4 page view firing and we've also got the e-com events firing. And if I click on purchase, again, you can see the two firing. And if I click on data layer, you can see 
all of the events and the information that got pushed through. You can also click on the GA4 property in the top bar and then you can select data layer again to see some of the information that has been pushed through. So everything has been pushed through correctly and this is now firing events into Google Analytics 4. So the next thing we can do is we can actually see this in GA4 by clicking on admin and then scrolling down and clicking on debug view and we'll actually be able to see those same events that we just put through live in Google Analytics. So you can see here the purchase event, I click on items, I can see test product one, which is the name of my product. I can see that I bought four of them because I added them to cart plenty of times. I can also see the add to cart event. So everything is being pushed through directly into GA4. So this is now set up correctly. We just need to publish the container in Tag Manager so that this is actually live. So go back to Tag Manager, click Submit, click Publish. You can give the version a name or just click Skip. And that's going to publish that live and now that is going to be functioning on your store. Now just know it can take up to 24 hours for the actual events to start showing in Google Analytics 4. That's why we use the debug view so we can see it in real time. However, for this to actually properly show up, you're going to give this at least 24 hours and then you're going to start seeing this uh, data reporting correctly within your GA4 property. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you would like to actually set up a call to speak with me either about your general marketing or something specific to GA4 and your Shopify setup, there's a link directly below in the description where you can book a call with me. We can get on and we can see what your problems are and I can help you solve them with me and my team. So thanks again for taking the time to watch the video. I do really appreciate it. Please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much.